everybody. It's pie baking time here at Eric and Jim's. I'm going to teach them how to make a apple pie. First of all, <laughs> some flour in a bowl. Then I don't know, we're going to make two pies here. So it's probably about, oh, maybe four cups of flour. And then we're going to put some salt in, but we don't have any salt right here. So I'm going to get the salt shaker. <laughs> Here. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon, oh, half a teaspoon of salt in. That's good. And then we're going to put some Crisco. Don't use cheap shortening. I'm going to put, this is two cups. And then you just mix this together until it's about, you know, it's kind of crumbly like. And it takes just a little bit of time. And actually, Eric, I think if you would just get the other one up there and hand it over here real quick. And just about half of it. So that would be like two and a half, at least, well, about two and a half cups to about four cups of flour. See how crumbly it is. I'm going to put some water in. I've got about a half. Actually, I've got about a cup. So I'm going to put about a half a cup of water to start. I don't want too runny, but just so it kind of forms a soft ball. And maybe a little bit more. has been washed previously for Jim's sake here. And then we're going to take out, oh my, enough here to make the bottom pie crust. I need a little bit more for the bottom pie crust because you've got to go up over the tops. Okay, make a little, just kind of whisk your flour in like this. Kind of like you're doing a hamburger patty. Kind of make it round like this. Okay, we're ready to roll her out. You can kind of turn your dough if you want to. Okay, where's my pie pan? Okay, this is kind of an easy way to <coughs> flip it over so you don't break your crust. Use a spatula, put it in like that. Bring it up. Well, that's good enough. It's not my pie pans with my utensils, so it's a little hard. Okay. All right. And on hold. Okay. We've got the top all rolled out here. What happened to my knife? Okay, you just put a couple slits, whatever design you want in it. We've got our apples down here in the bowl, all peeled and ready to go. We're going to add a little cinnamon, I don't know, half a teaspoon, something like that. I usually use um, um, cloves, but I've got allspice here, so we'll give a little bit of shake to that. And a little nutmeg, a cup of sugar. These are Granny Smith apples. Usually I use three-fourths of a cup to a pie, but they're a little more tart, so I'm going to put a full cup in. We'll see how that does. And we're going to put 
oh, I don't know, a heaping tablespoon of flour so that the pie has some body to it. And just a few pieces of butter here. And then we're going to mix all that together. stirs so your cinnamon gets all on everything. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna bring my pie shell over here. Dump my apples in. This is gonna be a heaping pie. Kind of smooth them around a little bit so that you don't have them all sticking up to break the crust. There we go. Take your crust, take your spatula so you don't break your dough. Makes it a little easier. Put your pie closer. I can already see I made a mess here. Lift that on top. Oh, goodness. Bring that over. Okay. Now, put just some flour on your fingers and pinch the edges together. Just keep turning it like this. It's important to seal your pie so your juice doesn't run out all over your oven <coughs> or on your top crust. Just about all the way around here. Just kind of turn it under and pinch. <coughs> Okay, that looks pretty good. And then a little sugar on the top like that. And it's ready to go back in the oven. I've got it at 425 degrees preheated oven. I'm gonna put it in. Let it 425 for about a half hour. And then turn, turn down to 375 to about an hour until you until your pie's done. Stick a stick a toothpick down in, see if your apples are done. And you can look if, if you've got a glass plate, then you can look and see if the brown the crust is brown. And that's all there is to it. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna check the pie here. Yep, it's starting to get brown. See around the edges there? And we'll put it back in, put the oven down to 375. And we'll continue to cook here for, oh, we'll check it again in a half hour. We're back. Pie's done, I think. I'm going to take a toothpick, stick it in it. Yep, the apples are soft. The crust is brown. And the bottom's brown. So, yes, it's been on there. the pie is done. There it is.